Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I'm finally getting around to finishing up my clothespin wreaths that I've been wanting to get to. Um, I picked up a bunch more of the clothespins at the Dollar Tree. I finally found those. Um, I know a lot of people tell me you can get these cheaper at Walmart. Um, so if you get to a Walmart, you might want to get your clothespins there. Um, I've been trying not to go too many places, you know, with everything that's going on. So I do manage to get out to the Dollar Tree and my local grocery store, but that's pretty much it for me for now. So I did get a bunch of these at the Dollar Tree. Um, then I have two of these frames, because I'm going to be making two wreaths. I'm going to be making my one with my ladybug that I wanted to put on there. Now these are the stakes, you know, they're on the long stakes at the Dollar Tree. And I just bend them back and forth, and it just popped right off. And then I could just stick a wire underneath here to wire it onto my wreath. And then for the other one that I'm doing, I'm going to be doing my patriotic one with the little truck. It has the flag in it, and the same thing. This one actually popped all the way off. But there's a couple little holes here that I can put some wire through to wire that onto the wreath, too. I don't know what else I'm adding to some of these. I don't know if I'm going to put any flowers on it. I may for the ladybug. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. I do have some of these. These were just table scatter that they had at the Dollar Tree. These little foam hearts with, have some um, glitter on them. So I'm going to add that to the patriotic one. Now for the ladybug one, um, I'm going to be painting that one the clothespins, half of them red, half of them black. Now last time I painted them all with some acrylic paint and a paintbrush, which took forever. So I ordered some paint from Amazon, which you can get at Walmart much cheaper too, but like I said, I'm just trying not to go places. So I ordered some of the black. I have um, this black that I'm going to use for the ladybug, and then I have this red for the ladybug that I'm also going to be using for um, the patriotic one too, because we're going to be doing that one in red, white, and blue. And then I have this pretty blue here that I got. And then, of course, you need some white. So that is what I'm going to be painting those with. Uh, let's see, what else? And then for the ladybug ones, I'm going to dot the uh, red ones with the black. i got to remember what I would decide it on. With some black dots on it, and then the black ones with a few white dots on it, just to make that really sparkle a little, or whatever you want to call it. So, let me see, what else did I want to say? Okay, so for each one of these, you're going to need um, 82 clothespins. I know different ones, like Walmart's, I think some of them are different sizes, so it may depend on which ones you use. But for this one, I'm going to be doing 41 red and 41 black for the ladybug. And then for the uh, patriotic one, I'm going to do 20 of them with the blue. I'll try to remember to list this below because half the time I forget to do that, but I'll try to do that. So we're going to do 20 with the blue and 31 red and 31 white. So that's what I'm going to do. And now the way I'm going to do these is I've got a cardboard box and I lined up all my clothespins like this on it. So these are going to be for the ladybug. These are going to be red or the black ones, whatever. And that way you can kind of get to it all, and then you can tip it a little bit to get, you know, your underneath here. And then I'm just going to cut these sides open when they're dry and just lay it down. That way I can get the undersides of these just to go across that real quick. So that's what I'm going to do, and I think this is going to be much, 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 much faster than me trying to hand paint each one with the acrylic paints. But it did work out well. I did my... um little bumblebee one that way and it took quite some time but it came out absolutely gorgeous so whatever so these are the actually the what are these these are the 14 inch wreath frames from Dollar Tree so I have two of those I'm going to be using and I think that's pretty much it so I'm going to take my clothespins outside and spray them all up and hopefully this is going to go really quick and then we'll come back and start putting these together All right, I got all these done now. These are all nice and dry. It was so much easier spray painting these and getting them all done at one time. Um, so I put the little dots on all these. I'll show you guys how I did it real quick. Um, I have a blue one here because I actually painted all of these without thinking I wanted to show you guys what I did. So I have this little stylus tool. I got this at Dollar Tree, and it has a small 
tiny side with a little ball on it, and then the other side's a little bit bigger. So I used the bigger side. And all I did to do these was just dip it in the paint and then just dot. And I just put five dots on each one. And that was it. That's all I did to make my little dots on here. Real simple. And then this thing's really easy to clean up. All you gotta do is just wipe this off. And voila. So I love that little tool. I do all kinds of things with it. Besides what it's made for. <laughs> Alright, so now the fun part is putting these on. So on this one I am going to alternate uh, blacks and reds all the way around. And I'm going to do it a little different on the red, white, and blue one. But for this one, I'm just going to start here, and then on these bottom two, you're going to want to get it so you get that little second loop right on there. And then that will hold real good. It's not going to come off. You don't have to glue these. You don't have to do anything to them. And then the black one, I'm going to put on these two, just so it has like a staggered effect to it. And then just hook it in that little thing there. And that is all I'm going to do all the way around. So I am just going to do this one little section here, and then I will do the rest of it off camera because it's the same process all the way around. And yeah, this is the fun part. I love putting these on. So the red one's on the lower two, and then the black one's on the other two up above that one. <coughs> And they will move around, but once you get them on here, they won't go anywhere. And I found that I think it was 13 that fit in between each one of these little wired uh, sections here. So yes, yeah, so I did the black polka dots on the red ones, and then the white polka dots on the black ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, one, twelve, thirteen. All right. Now all these sections aren't perfectly measured. So the other one. There we go. Now they're nice and straight. So that's how that'll look all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put uh, the rest of my sections on here. I'm doing exact same way, just alternating the red and black, and then we'll come back and decorate it up. All right, I got them all on here. No matter which way I did it, I ended up with two of the same color that's going to um, be here. There was no way to fit an extra one in there to make it the right way. But that is where our little ladybug is going to go, so you will never, ever, ever know it was there. Only you will know, that's for sure. So right here over these two black ones that I ended up together, I put a piece of floral wire um, right underneath that, uh, what's left of the, you know, little stake that was on there. And I gave it a couple good twists here. And I always make it extra long. Definitely does not need to be this long. But I like to have plenty to work with. So I'm just going to, I'm going to turn this upside down, actually, so you guys can see it better. So right here where I ended up with my two black ones, I'm going to go into the second, let me make sure I put him the right way, to the second loop here, and then I'm going to take the other end of my wire and put that around the other, the second loop, or the second whatever you want to call it. I'll show you better when I turn it over. Alright, so that he's going to go on here. Let me find my ends here, guys. There we go. Now I can just flip him over and give him a little wiggle room there. Let's see, I stuck it on this, the two center wires of the frame. And I'm just going to twist him on there real good. And then I can cut that off. And now, it's all up to you guys how you want to decorate yours. I mean, I'm going to put a couple flowers on this guy. Uh, I'm not going to be putting any flowers on the red, white, and blue one. Uh, oops, get out from under that clothespin. There we go. 
And he's all kinds of adjustable, so you can kind of move him around. <clears throat> I don't want him stuck right there. Let me see if I can slide my wire a little more. There we go. Isn't he adorable? He's just so cute. So I was hoping I had some white, white daisies. I don't, but these are close enough. And if I find some, I will just yank these off and uh, put the white ones on. I wanted it to be white, white, but I thought I had some, but I guess I didn't see any at Dollar Tree because I would have picked them up. Now these are just called the Gerber daisies. So I took two of the red ones and two of the white ones. And we're just going to put two on each side here. I don't want to cover him up at all. Well, I can tuck that down behind him. Yeah, I think that'll be cute right there. I'm just going to hot glue these on. I cut all the most of the plastic off back here so um, that wouldn't be in the way. And I'm going to put that right there on this one. You can tuck it behind. I wanted this one to be up high on this clothespin here. <coughs> Make sure I get enough underneath here now. There we go. So I wanted this one to be up high and then I'm going to put my other one down a little bit lower. I don't want to put too much on here because I don't want to cover up all this hard work of these pretty clothespins. So we're just going to add a couple little flowers, like whatever I said. If you want to put a bow on here or some other kind of little embellishments, whatever you like. So that is all. I'm going to put two up here and then two underneath them. Because I really don't want to cover up his cute little legs either. Well, you know what? I can pull his little legs up out of there, I guess. Once this cools down, I'm going to pull his little leg up so it's over top of the leaf. And then I'm just going to take my other red one and put it down there, oh, you know, just like the other one is. And that's all I'm going to put on here. I don't want to make it any more covered up. Like I said, if you like a nice bow or if you like to put something in the center, you could always do that too. But I just want this simple and I think this is going to be cute. Alright, I'm going to set him aside and let that uh, hot glue cool and then grab the other one for the um, patriotic one. So I'll be right back to do that. Alright, now for this guy, I'm going to be doing the whole section just in blue. And that's where we're going to be adding our stars, but I'm going to alternate them, um, you know, just like I did the other one. I just like that look. And you can do it however you like. I mean, you can mess around with it um, to see what looks best. Oh, that one to get painted underneath well, so we'll put them on this way. And, um, you know, you can decide how you want them. I know some people like them all even, so you know, you would put them all just on the whatever row to make them all nice and even. But I just kind of like this look. So I did 20 of these in the blue. Um, I didn't do, whoops, I didn't do a, uh, a ton of them because right underneath the blue is where the truck is going to be. So even if I did them, you wouldn't see them. So... Let me get these little buggies on here real quick. Oh, if I put them on the right one. I really wanted to get this done before the 4th of July, but you know what? That's all right. We still have Labor Day coming up, and... I mean, you can have a patriotic wreath any time of the year. It doesn't have to be just for the holiday. And then on these, I'm just going to add some of those stars. And I think I'm going to just make a, like a raffia bow for underneath the truck, just to add a little something else. But, you know, again, I really don't want to make too much stuff to cover this all up. 
All right, this will be our blue field here for the stars. All right, and now for the red and white ones. I'm going to do, I think, just alternate a red one, I mean a white one on the top and on the bottom, and I think I'll switch over to the red. One on the top and one on the bottom. Oops, that clothespin's messed up. There we go. And I think that'll look good for the stripes. Well, let's see after we do a couple. Yeah, I think that's really good. I like that. All right. So I am just going to go around and finish this up. I'm just going to alternate two reds, two whites. And then we can come back and decorate this guy up. All right, after I started putting these on, I changed my mind a little bit. I ended up doing three whites and three reds together for the stripes. It just looked a little too, I don't know, it didn't look quite right. So it looked a little bit better, so I did it with the three and the three. Um, for the rest of the way around, there's three. And it ended up with just one red one here. But that doesn't matter because our little truck is going to be there. It's going right here. So I need to, I put the wires through that little hole there because this thing would not come off. And there was a little hole there that I just strung some of the floral wire through to hook that on. And let's see, kind of needs to go right in between these two white ones, I guess. I almost need another hand, here we go. All right, it's gonna go down that way and then over this, you know, just to center two wires on here. I flip this over. Make sure I got them in the right spot. See, that's why I didn't want to do any more blues because he's gonna be down there kind of blocking everything. All right, so we're just gonna tie this on like a knot just to get it. Hold. I think that's good right there. And then I'm just going to give it a few good twists and cut that off. These take like no time at all. The longest is, you know, just getting your painting done and stuff. But to put them together, it's really no time at all. Alright, so I'm going to tuck your wires out of the way. So now we're going to glue on, straighten him out. So I want him just like that. Because this is actually going to be like the top of my wreath. And then I'm just going to add some of these little table scatter stars here and there. <clears throat> Grab a couple of these big ones. And we're just going to add a few of them around. Uh, and then we have the smaller ones here that we can add. Let's see. I'm going to put another bigger one up here. Oops. And I don't know how many I'm putting on. Definitely not putting on 50 of them, so um, I'm just going to put them here and there. Whoops. Let me turn this around. I always end up doing things backwards here. But you can see how I'm just putting them on just no particular order at all. Just wherever I think I need a little star, it's where it's going. Alright, maybe just a couple more. There just because. Well, let's see. I only have two big ones left here. Well, I'm putting on more here than I thought I would. Maybe I'll stick that one down in the middle there. Just so it's peeking out. Maybe I'll do the same with this last one down here. And I think that will be good enough for the the stars. So I will hang this up and get a good shot of this when it's all done. It's kind of hard to see here on my desk, I know. But that 
that was all I'm going to do, just glue those little stars on. And I had a couple more if I can find any more. I think I have a few more of these. Probably shouldn't have put that one back there, but... Alright, and this is the floral wire I use, too. This comes from the Dollar Tree, and I'm so glad that they have them on these spools now, because the other ones I kept dropping, they were all over the place, and these seem to stay on here really good. So I'm happy about that. And they have them in a bunch of different colors now, too. Alright, so now underneath here, I'm just going to put a little raffia bow. Um, I'm just going to use, like, four strands, and nothing fancy. I'm just going to tie just a little bow, and then we can adjust it, you know, to the size. Just a regular bow. And I'm just not sure how big I want it yet, so I'm just going to make that. And I think maybe just a little bit wider. Get my big old fingers in these loops. Not too big. And then we'll, you know, we'll spread this all out when we're done here. <clears throat> I think that looks even. So that, I just want right down underneath this truck. I really don't want it on the truck. Just to add a little something hanging down here. And I think, I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want this when it's hanging. Probably right there. Alright, so that's where we're going to put it. And then we'll cut off whatever we don't need. So I really don't want to cover up a lot of the truck. Let me hold this up here. Let's see. It actually needs to... I think that's good. Alright. Come on now, glue. I may need to add a little more because I'm kind of in between um, clothespins here. Okay. Alright. Hang on now. So now I'm just going to trim this off, and that's that. And that is all I'm doing to this one. So now I'm just going to fluff these things out a little bit. We're going to hang them up, get a nice shot, and then we are done. Easy peasy. These really are so simple to make. Um, like I said, for years I've seen them, and I was always afraid to make them. They looked real difficult, but that's just far. Couldn't be farther from the truth. They are very easy to make. So let me clean this up, hang these up, and get a nice shot. Yeah, right, there is our ladybug. She is so cute. I actually did paint a little bit more in her eyes because you could really see the black through it. So I just took a little bit of the white acrylic paint and actually a black Sharpie and colored his eyes in a little bit better because, you know, sometimes the Dollar Tree paint jobs aren't the best, but I think he looks cute. So that is it. That is very simple. So let me take this guy down. We'll hang up our patriotic wreath and see how that turned out. All right, there is our little truck. Everybody loves the red truck. Um, it is really a pretty truck. Just uh, These stakes were really nice, so hopefully you can still find some of these. If they still have matter, you may have one sticking out in your yard and want to put it on your wreath. But I think that came out great. I just have this hanging on a nail right now. Um, you don't need to put anything on the back if you have, like, you know, one of those over-the-door you know door. Uh, hangers for your wreaths or whatever if you have a hook or you could you know tie a piece of jute string or something in the back to hang it if you need to but they're very simple to just hang up and take down so that is it thanks so much for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed this video I will see you guys all next time have a great day everyone